Less than 24 hours after the municipal elections, government ministers sat with union executives proposing a cut in public officers' salaries for the upcoming fiscal year. The proposal shows that the cut would be implemented for three years in an effort to bridge an $80 million deficit, which would reportedly aid in restoring a somewhat stable economic outlook for the country. The meeting took an estimated four hours, and according to the first vice president of the Public Service Union, Dean Flowers, government workers may be looking at a 10% cut. If you look at the budget numbers, and um, as well as the the expected outturn, uh, where wages and emoluments on a whole is concerned, uh, it is it would be safe for me to say that it's 10%. Uh, it's a 10% salary cut that is being proposed. A letter dated March 5 from the Ministry of Finance to the union members has noted that the cut in salaries will provide an estimated $60 million reprieve annually for the government. Vice President Dean Flowers told Lev News that they are awaiting additional information from the ministry, after which they will be engaging the union's 3,000-plus members. He added that the cut in salaries will not only hamper the affected households, but could potentially harm the private sector. We will be receiving the information that they committed to providing to us uh, where the wage bans are concerned on Monday. Uh, thereafter, we will engage in a comprehensive analysis of, of this and how this could affect our members and what we can put in place to mitigate and in negative impact, I mean, any impact will be negative. Uh, that goes without saying, even though um, there also exists the possibility uh, that any such uh, cut across the board could in fact uh, take certain individuals out of a certain income tax or social security contribution bracket. So it can, so, so the, 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 the implications as a result of this um, proposal, Rene, is far-reaching. I am hoping that the government has themselves uh, considered the negative impact that this could have on their revenues and on social security contributions, um, as well as, of course, the spending power and the kind of liquidity that will be taken out of the system as a result of this. For the Association of Public Service Senior Managers, APSSM, President Sharon Fraser told Love News that the union will be going back to its membership to get their feedback. She says it is unfortunate that the letter from the government was leaked prior to the union members being duly notified. We had asked them to go back and look at the cost savings and the revenue enhancement recommendations that were made um, by the unions to the government for them to revisit those to see once it is we could envision savings, it would mean that it would further cut the $60 million um, wage deficit that exists. We are mindful of the fact that that is there, but we still feel that there are some other things that can be done before we even touch cutting salaries. Um, and once it is they have looked at those other things, then if it's inevitable, that is if it is inevitable, then we were saying rather than it be a done deal as far as um, 10% over three years, we had asked that it be, if it is that it needs to be done, look at it after the first year. So we were throwing out some ideas of what they could look at. Um, no decisions have been taken as it relates to any of these since the ministers were informed that we needed to go back and do consultations with our members as it relates to this proposal. While Financial Secretary Joseph Waite would not get into the details of yesterday's meeting, he would only say that there is cooperation on both sides. Yes, there will be there will be some um, reductions. And of course, unions are pointing out areas in the, in the, in the public service where they think we can find uh, uh, cost savings as well. So it's an amicable, it's a joint relationship. For senior officers in the public service, they are possibly facing an additional cut in allowances. 
Consultations will be taking place in the coming days as a final agreement is needed in time for the budget presentation and the start of the new fiscal year. Reporting for Love News, I am Renee Trujillo.